Thank you very much. Uh, I now yield to the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Micah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Paulson, you just uh, spoke about uh, some conversations uh, with Mr. Lewis. And uh, let, if I could just clarify, um, I guess Mr. Lewis claims that he first learned of the $12 billion financial loss at uh, Merrill Lynch on December 14th. Uh, at, at, which was uh, nine days after the shareholder vote. Now, you just testified that uh, he called uh, you at that point and told you he was strongly considering backing out. Is that what you were referring to just a moment ago? Or was it a conversation uh, later on December 21st when Lewis informed uh, you that he was considering backing out because of financial losses uh, at, at Merrill Lynch? Well, well we had... There's two conversations, one earlier, which is shortly after their board meeting, when he first indicated, and a second time. Do you well, recall? Yeah, there were multiple conversations. The, the, uh, the, the first call was the first time I had any inkling of the problem was uh, on December 17th. And th that's when he called. And well, he, he, he said on the 14th uh, well, that he, he called you, and that's what we have information. Well, then there's another conversation on the 21st that um, uh, he, he was, again, very seriously moving towards uh, getting out of the deal because of what he had learned. And he said that is when you threatened uh, to remove him and the board of directors at Bank of America. Do you, do you recall threatening him in one of those conversations? Well, well I, I don't characterize it as a threat. I clearly uh, recall on the December 21st I explaining to him that... So you did not threaten him, I, 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 uh, either to remove him or the board I, of directors? I, no. What I've testified here today is that... Uh, that, that I sure explained to him that the Fed could remove management and the board of directors. Well, you, you told folks uh, that all hell would broke loose if they backed out of the deal. Is that correct? I d didn't use those words, but, uh, but I sure told them it would be a very serious problem and it would cr create a financial havoc. But there, wa there were backup plans. Uh, were you aware of those backup plans? Did you disclose the backup plans or ever mention that you, you had any alternative to Lewis? I, I don't know what you're speaking of in terms of backup plans. Well, uh, it's my understanding that, uh, that you had information uh, relating to a uh, possible backup plan by Br uh, Br British uh, Regulatory Authority and that there were backup plans if, in fact, uh, uh, they didn't go through with the deal. You're not aware of any backup uh, plans? I don't know what That was the only option? The, the I don't know what the... Uh, the uh, you know we, we certainly had uh, we, we had our tarp and we were we were low on uh, capacity in the tarp but we I, I don't know anything about British well, we, well uh, I have information here we'll put in the record uh, we've ha we've had uh, recent discussions with uh, BAC and ML management who contend that they uh, have the required shareholder supporter and confident that a transaction will be approved uh, with the, tomorrow's vote. If approval is withheld, ML will continue to have access to the various facilities and programs currently in place in the United States. Additionally, it is, respons it is reasonable to expect that ML would uh, be provided uh, necessary support to preclude sufficient sy systemic uh, disruption. Are you aware of that? I assume people are just that you're talking about a board report where they're talking about access to Fed lines or the fact from, that we've got from a the Richmond Fed to the UK. Yeah, I'm I'm not aware of that. You're not aware of that, and and you were never aware of any backup plan. The only thing, and you and you never threatened uh, Lewis to remove. Uh, him or well, his board. Uh, you keep putting words in my mouth. I, I, I've, I've, I've now told you three times and told the committee repeatedly that of course I told Lewis that that we would, uh, the Fed had the authority and could replace uh, Lewis and the board. So you did tell him that 
you had the authority to remove him, him that, and I, the I board. Told, I told him that the Federal Reserve could replace him and the board if, uh, if, if he uh, pursued the course of invoking the MAC. And again, uh, for the record, you are not aware, you're telling this committee you're not of any, aware of any contingency or backup plans other than, than uh, uh, you're holding uh, Mr. Lewis and the board to uh, the deal that you wanted to impose. I, I'm saying that our, our, our my, my plan and my preparedness was to get ready with the support package when the company announced the earnings. Mr. Chairman, it, I have it, uh, some it, it information. Terms, Contrary to what the witness is testifying, and I'd like to ask unanimous consent that that be made part of the record. Without objection, so ordered. Thank you. Right. Yield back. The, 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 uh, yield to the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Quigley, Congressman Quigley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Paulson, uh, 